Folks, Thank here's the deal. Uh -huh. uh, we've proven it time and time again, but this is the place to come to when you want to get just the, the, the honesty of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, a safe place to come because we're not in the destruction of people business here. True that. No, sir. We are just not in the tear person down business. Mm -mm. So in honor of that, joining us right now is award winning singer. She the baby girl of the Braxton bunch. <laughs> Uh, she's, uh, she's starring with her sisters on a reality show called The Braxton Family Values and on her own show with her husband, Vince. Mm -hmm. But, uh, this is what she's here to talk about today. It's been all over the headlines about her recent departure from the talk show, The Real. Mm -hmm. And there are all sorts of rumors flying. Well, now, uh, she's going to be giving her side of the story today. Uh, we're sitting here right now, ladies and gentlemen, talking to the one and only, the talented and the beautiful Tamar Braxton. Hey, yeah, Mom. Yeah. Good Mom. morning. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Tamar, what's going on, girl? Hi. How you feeling? I feel amazing, actually. Yeah. Actually, you do. I, I do. You, you know? look amazing. My, oh, you thank really you. Do. Very yeah. beautiful today. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm here for the morning ministry. But uh. <laughs> 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 I didn't look amazing a week ago. No. Well, let, let's 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 get into a couple of pieces of this, because tonight, first of all, everybody tonight, a very, very special all new episode of the Braxton family values. Uh, she breaks her silence tonight on her show and she does it in a in a in a in a very, very interesting way. And everybody, listen, you got to tune in tonight so you can see it. We're going to talk about it on the radio mm -hmm. in a bit. But you've got to see the initial genuine reaction mm -hmm. when she broke the news. What can you tell us without giving it away right. about tonight's episode? Well, to be honest about it, um, it's pretty much two hours after it all happened. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I was That's actually on my way to shoot. A scene for the Braxtons, mm -hmm. and um, that's when you know I got the news from Vince, and the cameras just so happened to be there, and wow. you get a really you know clear, candid picture of you know my sisters being there for me, and me pretty much you know having to be open and honest about my feelings, you know, which is kind of hard for me because you know um, I don't really like when people see me break down mm -hmm. and I did because you know I had nothing you know to really hold on to you know besides you know my family and my sisters and they really show up for me wow me you okay know now that's going to be different uh because this is reality for real yeah because tonight's episode is going to be different about what we're going to talk about in a minute because yeah. we're talking about what I didn't know until just now this was two hours after you found out the yeah. news. So this is fresh. Very fresh. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting on my bed, beat face. I mean, mm -hmm. hair snatched. Uh -huh. <laughs> and was like, everybody's like, well, when they saw the clip, they were like, okay, well, why is she so snatched? Did she get all made up for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it really happened on a Saturday afternoon, which is like, you know, unheard of. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's really real. And I do believe that, you know, it was god's divine intervention mm -hmm. you know that you know this is something that needs to be seen not to see tamar crying and upset but you know just to understand that i'm human as well right. you see me on tv you hear me on the radio whatever or you know singing or whatever but um at the end of the day i'm just like everybody else mm -hmm. when you hear something that's devastating and something that's very close to you do you think tamar tonight uh when people see this do you think that they'll get a little, maybe clearer view of what life actually is really like for a celebrity? That is not all red carpets and Instagram photos. Absolutely. I mean, everyone, I think at some point in their life feels like the rug is being pulled from under you, mm -hmm. but no one is actually there to see it. You know what I'm saying? 
And, you know, I don't really look at myself as a celebrity. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm it does. I know, it but I, I'm just being myself <laughs> you are. and right. it's been, mm-hmm. just being documented. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not, it's, this is not a person that I'm being, you know what I'm saying? So right. at the end of the day, you know, it's I, like, yeah. I mean, you really get a chance to see, you know, Tamar in human form and understand that I don't think that I am above or beyond anybody else. I'm just like everybody else. You know, I'm just, I'm a regular a person a regular woman and i have feelings and you know at the end of the day i got my heart broken i mean it just wasn't by a man <laughs> you wow. know i got my heart broke and that's really you know uh happened. you just made an interesting comment uh that you don't consider yourself a celebrity i don't uh that's a very very uh open statement because uh there are a few celebrities who who actually feel that same way that they don't view themselves as celebrities that that's that it's it's not often but that that is the case uh this is going to be good folks when we come back listen Woo! to this now tonight on the show everybody has got to tune in tonight to uh braxton family value absolutely uh it's tonight at watching. 9 p.m <laughs> eastern 8 central on we tv uh-huh. you're going to get a view that we can't give you on the radio how this woman actually got the news and found out about it and was presented it to her and, and went into her sister's with it two hours after it happened. Now, what you're going to get today is when we come back, we are going to get into the nuts and bolts of this <laughs> conversation about what really happened, want to. how she got the news, Ooh, how she handled me. it, what it was like for her. Uh, and 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 a couple other questions, and so did, now this is the Steve Harvey Tamar interview. Yeah, yeah. And yes. you're listening the- to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> I know you didn't go away. I know you're right here. Yeah. Everybody wants to hear this. Uh Uh-huh. This is like the interview of interviews. Yes, it is. Uh, We're sitting here with the fabulous uh, Tamar Braxton uh, um, from the uh, hit singing group. And then, you know, it turned into a TV show, Braxton Family Values. But uh, she broke out. She's been uh, showing her uh, star power. Mm Mm-hmm. on her own so for for a little <laughs> while now, and and really really quite a pleasant person. So here we are. This, this is the part of it. So Tamar, let me ask you this question: yeah. Where were you when you got the call? Well, I actually didn't get a, get a call to be honest. Um, Vince made a call because he wanted to. <laughs> this is so random. He was calling them to talk about Glam for Essence Festival. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really really uh-huh. and literally this this is verbatim what he told me uh-huh. she was like oh i've been meaning to call you oh no so, really yeah so the, wow and then went into well you know we're not gonna have her back you know for the panel or whatever and i was actually in my glam room and then when i came downstairs i saw this look on vince face and just, he just looked like distraught and confused uh-huh and i thought something happened you know to some, yeah. somebody in my family like what's you wrong what's going, yeah. Yeah. yeah what's going it's on crazy. and he was just like i think you got fired i think <laughs> i'm like what you talking about <laughs> <laughs> right. Fired for what? Uh-huh. <laughs> Fired for <from> what? <laughs> no, really. He was like the real, and, and and really, honestly, my heart sunk into <clears throat> my shoes. Really, oh. like I, I like, pretty much fell over. To be because you were happy there. You, I was your excited. Job. I yeah. loved going to work. Uh-huh. You know, I'm just like everybody else. I love driving to my driving myself to work. Mm-hmm. I would work out in the morning, go straight to the set and be mm-hmm. there to mm-hmm. shoot two or three shows and, you know, come home and, you know, shoot a scene or two for the Braxton's or Tamar events mm-hmm. or record a record and, you know, that was go to bed job. at 11 there, and wake up at five. Yeah. Tamar, yes. had there been any controversy leading up to this that would make you think even for a moment that something was wrong. God, no. You know, when you love your job, it's no issues. You know what I mean? You're not complaining about much. 
you know, you're not, you know, fighting with anybody. Me and the girls got along, so I thought. And, you know, um, we've been on hiatus for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And so for this to come out of the blue is just astonishing, to be honest. So let me ask you this. You say, you just said something there. You said uh, you and the girls got along, so you thought. Yeah. What do, do you, now has has anyone given you or Vince a reason for for the firing? No, to be honest, well, I, I wish I knew. I wish I could sit here and tell you that um, you know it was negotiation issues. Yeah, no, because yeah. I wasn't negotiating. Yeah, you wanted more money. They no, wanted that wasn't like the that. case. You I didn't wish get I could, along with the panel. I wish I could tell you that. I wish I could tell you that. You know. Um, it was a headache on set. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, you know, um, I really honestly don't know. And I feel like that is what is bothering me to this mm -hmm. day. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, um, <clears throat> when you don't see yourself or see what's wrong, you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. And so if somebody Absolutely. just tell you, we just don't like you. So is it a personality thing? Mm -hmm. Is right. it just me? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. how do you fix yourself? Yeah. Right. That's the thing, because, you know, I, in life, I feel like you have to evolve. And how do I evolve from this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the average person who hears this getting fired, uh, folks who have jobs, they can't wrap their mind around it, that, that there isn't a reason given. In television, they don't have to give you a reason. Right. They, don't they can really. say something as simple as we're moving in a new direction. Mm -hmm. Or they just mm -hmm. don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. Television, a very unsafe business, is like playing pro football. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not on the team, you're not getting paid. Here's 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 a here's here's a situation. So for all of you out there that say, "Well, how you get fired? It ain't no reason." Uh, they really don't give you a reason, and uh, Hollywood is filled with a lot of coward upper level people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> who just sit in a room okay. and, and oh, make a decision. Oh, okay, Tamar. <laughs> I'm telling you real. I'm telling you real. You hear the nerve. Nobody is going to come out to be the heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just, they, they make a decision. They go, yes, well, that's right. Well, who's going to tell it? And then the one person that Vince calls and talks to, oh, I meant to call you. That How is crazy. Move. That is crazy. And that's it. Hang up and click. Ain't no getting them back on the phone. Have has so you all may have reached out to get a reason and haven't been given one. I know I didn't reach out. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Vince did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, he's you know, one of the producers. This is, yes, he was, and yeah. this is a Saturday, so my agent didn't know, my lawyer didn't know, and so I'm pretty sure um, they reached out by now, but nothing has come back to me. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say. I mean, getting fired or, you know, being let go from a situation does not mean that, you know, you're, you, you shouldn't value your worth because I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I don't see myself as a celebrity, but do I see myself as a superstar? I do. Mm -hmm. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, I just feel like, um, I'm just not going to allow anybody to, um, dim my star or dim mm -hmm. the way that I see me because it took, it took me a long time to, you know, um, see myself as, you know, see myself or take myself for who I am. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And so, you know, I can't let this one situation, you know, make me um, lose my self-esteem or mm -hmm. not um, see myself as being who I am and um, mm -hmm. the direction that I want to go in my life. This is not a setback. This is a setup. And so mm -hmm. I feel like if you don't look at things like this as a blessing, it won't be a blessing. That's right. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely feel like it is. And I feel like, um, from here, um, it's onward and upward. Mm -hmm. And I have to keep telling myself. And I want to tell the listeners that you have to keep telling yourself. You have to speak positivity over your life. Mm -hmm. And when things like this happen, you have to speak positivity over your life even more. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you'll find yourself in a depression mm -hmm. or you're, or you're, you keep looking at yourself or try to make things, you know, wrong. And it's not, it's nothing that you have done. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's anything that I have done or I, I would go back and do over again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I just have to tell everybody that um, I just, I just don't feel like I'm the same person that has been through things like this mm -hmm. in life. And in, in this situation, you have to be positive and you have to move forward, push yourself 
and move forward. Well, you certainly exemplify that yeah. this morning. I mean, you came in looking like the superstar that you are. Oh, fabulous. You have a beautiful smile on your face. Thanks. And I can tell you are looking forward to the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I don't feel like my future is not bright. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's brighter than ever. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, and, you know, I was telling my sisters this, that, you know, um, we all have that feeling inside of us when it's time to, you know, leap and mm -hmm. jump and when you don't mm -hmm. god will oh, he'll push you, you over yeah. the edge yes, he, will. <laughs> he will do it for uh -huh. you and you know sometimes it's un unexpected and when it's unexpected that's when you that's when you're hurting mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. and yeah. i don't i don't see that as this as anything negative i see it as everything positive and i just feel like god is moving in my life more than ever you know, um, because now I have to really depend and trust him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, Tamar, that, the, most minute, people Steve. don't we? understand that you, 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 you cannot be defined by your defeats. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You just can't. And to hear you talk like this, mm -hmm. that it was a positive thing, that it happened, it was good for you, that sometimes, you know, God needs your attention. So instead of you jumping off the cliff, you get pushed off the cliff. And it's the same thing. You're yeah. in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Yeah, yeah. Trust and believe. You didn't want to be in the air, but usually you don't want to go off the cliff. No right. one really wants to. But in this, in this attitude that you have is where your greatness lies. And I think that you coming on the radio and being honest about it. Now, the beauty of what you're doing, though, is... You ain't coming on here blaming nobody. You ain't coming on in here angry. No. The old mad sister neck snapping. I'm going <laughs> to show you. They going to see. They going to see. You know how many people are sitting in that executive office who, l l let me tell y'all how TV works. This ain't, this ain't Tamar talking. Let me tell y'all how TV works. This going to cost somebody their job. <clears throat> This is going to cost someone their job. You're right, because let me not? show you how this works, man. Hollywood <laughs> operates off embarrassment. She going to land on her feet. Mm -hmm. And when she land on her feet and when she go become bigger and better, mm -hmm. the our eyes going to turn on the who thought mm -hmm. it was a good idea to get rid of her in the first place. It happens in Hollywood every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. Someone will lose their job behind this. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this how this works. It's so wonderful that you had your sisters, your family oh, yeah, for your yeah. support too. Oh, for sure. My husband as well. I mean, I can't count him out. You know, yeah. I, I feel like he, just as devastated as I was, he was more devastated. Mm -hmm. okay. And, what you know, it? yeah, he has my back. Mm -hmm. He's just the greatest ever. Am I the only one? Don't nobody want to whoop nobody ass? <laughs> I was waiting on that time. I've been waiting on that time. I feel like my Tamar, sit with us. Yeah. Sit with us a little bit this morning. Sure. We're enjoying talking to her. We got Tamar Braxton, everybody. She's Stay with us. With uh, us. Uh, we may have another great guest mm -hmm. coming up just shortly, but well, Tamar, stick around a little bit, girl. We'll talk a little shop with you right, All right now. And we love your smile. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, well, here we yeah, are. We back. We back. Yeah, we're back. And yes, Steve. guess who has stuck around this entire time? Who, our Steve? <laughs> from our very own forgiving, no neck jerking ministry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The fabulous Tamar Brack. She is yes. here. Yes. 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 So gracious Hi. this morning. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So we 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 gonna we gonna finish up with Tamar. We got an announcement. Yes, to make. you do. And Ooh. um. It's going to be pretty big. So coming up next, uh, we got an announcement, uh, Tony, uh, Tamar, uh, Braxton going to make. And, uh, Tom, I'm waiting on you to send me that information. And Shirley, I need these pictures of Tamar did, so huh? we can post them. Oh, okay. Mine are posted. I, yeah. What you guys are waiting on? on the ground. Yes. <laughs> It's so funny because, you know, after all of that happened, everybody was like, oh, she and she got dropped from her record label, too. And that's not true. I just wanted to say that. Wow. <laughs> I'm wow. still singing. Well, wow. Since we since we breaking news, here's the news. Wait, do we need a drum roll for this, Steve? Because I have a 
a feeling of, this is huge right Let here. Let me sit up straight. This, yeah. Well, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> flat. Yeah. Time, sit up it's, it's, it's developed into something because of uh, our relationship over the years with the entire family, but especially our relationship with her husband, Vince, mm -hmm. who is an absolute brilliant businessman and a relationship with uh, the president of my production company, Gerald Washington, 112th Street Productions. Mm -hmm. We are proud to announce that uh, 112th Street Productions, which is one of the fastest growing TV production companies in Hollywood right now, in conjunction with Endemol, Shine, North America, uh, my production company, East 112th Street, has just signed Tamar Braxton Come on, Jesus. to what? produce <laughs> a talk show TV series Look at him. with what? Tamar Braxton. What? Hey. Say that again, Steve. I don't think they heard East you. East 112 Street Oh, this the real right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> this, oh, this, 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 this the real. This is the really. <laughs> the really. The really. Yeah. Yeah. We saw the opportunity of what people may recognize as the end, but mm -hmm. it's not. It's such a beginning. She has such a bright future. She is such a star. She has so much to offer. She is a plethora of talent. Mm. And so we've signed her to 112 Street Productions uh, for a new show <laughs> on several different Won't levels. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? We think she would make a great game show host. Uh -huh. We think she would make a great talk show host. Well, mm -hmm. we well. think uh, she's in line to produce a number of series. We think that she has a, a reach in the millennial space yes. that are, that is not out there at the superstar level that she has uh, that she brings to the table. So. We proudly oh, announced today that uh, Tamar Braxton is already on her feet. Yes. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> and it don't take God, Junior. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Hey! hey, hey, hey. You're listening <laughs> to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Can I say one more time? Mm -hmm. Say it. Uh, say it. The phone after this interview with Tamar Braxton, uh -huh. has been ringing off the hook. You know, Monica is our uh, correspondent and uh, mm -hmm. uh, morning show uh, producer, right? Mm -hmm. And the phone has been ringing off the hook from different outlets who want air checks of her interview. Wow. And uh, oh, the beauty of the way Tamar handles this whole thing is like really a lesson for all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the face of adversity, to look for the bright side. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I said, uh, behind every act of adversity, two things happen. Two things come out of adversity. There's a lesson and there's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And you got to sit still for both of them. So you can't re overreact to the adversity and just wallow in it and oh, woe is me. You know, look, you're going to have your first moment when it first hits you now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, she you know, told us about hers. Oh, yeah. you're going to have that mm -hmm. moment now because mm -hmm. you're human. Yeah. But after you had that moment, pull yourself together and hit, wait on the lesson and the blessing. And the lesson is what she just showed us was to how to have poise, dignity, and style mm -hmm. when you've been lied on, mm -hmm. when you've been done wrong, mm -hmm. when you've been thrown out by no doing it, y'all, when there's probably been some type of collaboration <clears throat> you know some some probably been some backbiting involved it, it, it ain't for no reason right probably been a couple people's then went mm. you know Amen. with some complaints and probably had that type of thing going on mm. and so then with all of that in light to still have your dignity and keep your head about you and to behave the way she has through it all has been absolutely uh, fabulous. Yeah. And so Thank I commend you, you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and now the blessing about the star poor. Oh, yes. Come on now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just feel like you have a choice. You know, you can either be positive or be negative. And really, negativity doesn't get you anywhere. You know, so right. you're already down. You're already on the ground. Why lay there? You don't mm -hmm. have to lie in it. Mm -hmm. You can get up and keep it popping. You oh. control your destiny. All right, girl. I well, know that's right. Go well, ahead. What if you change your mind? Are we still going to be quiet? Don't you have an accent to make this? 
I'm just trying to let everyone know I'm Change over here. Ridedownthere.com. I'm over here. He always me. does this. Always. Uh, you and your own. <laughs> so, we don't have to do that right now. No, we're good. We got a lot going for us. Right yeah. Now. So then two major things are going to happen. Yeah. Uh, well, one has already happened today. Mm -hmm. Steve made an announcement. You got to tell us about that again. And then the show tonight. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. You know, I just have to give a shout out to my big sister, Tony Braxton, because, mm -hmm. you know, um, I call her Tony Braxton living legend. Because <laughs> <laughs> she is. Because she is. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, she really, she really did show up. Mm -hmm. as a big mm -hmm. sister. Well, and she's been through some Yeah, things. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's open and candid about, you know, the things that she's been through mm -hmm. in the press and, you know, how, you know, being publicly humili humiliated mm -hmm. shouldn't mm -hmm. stop you. This is nothing um, but a blessing because it makes you stronger mm -hmm. and, you know, you can't get to the next level. I remember you told me a long time ago, Steve, yes. new levels, new devils. Uh -huh. New level, mm -hmm. new devils. Absolutely. And, you know, <laughs> you don't get to the next level without learning your lesson. Mm -hmm. And um, you just have to be open to learning. You're not losing. You're learning. And so you have to remember that. And tonight, you know, Tony Braxton really shows up and, you know, she's vulnerable as well. You know, she talk, She talks about her bankruptcies, yeah. and, you know, her being, yeah. you know, publicly mm -hmm. divorced and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes somebody has to share their story for you to understand your story. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. really why I'm here today to be honest about it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, thank you and, that's, for your and that's what you did. Mm -hmm. You you shared a story, and you're being honest. There's some so there's some vulnerability to it. There's a very human side yeah. to all of this. There is the pain. You know, don't nobody like to get bad news. Yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. People yeah. think because you're a celebrity, or you strong, or you're a motivational speaker, you just uh, there's some big rock standing over here. It is crazy. Yeah. You're human. But Only human. life is ten percent what happened to you. It's ninety percent what you do about it. Come on, now. Hello. And so it. what we finna do something about it at East One Twelfth Street. <laughs> yeah. The doors of the church is open. <laughs> yes. The won't brain. you come? Won't you come? Uh, <laughs> the hottest, <laughs> hottest TV production company, newly formed in L.A. East 112th Street production. Uh huh. And, uh, with the newly signed, uh, Braxton girl. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, Tamar, and that her, is. Uh, <laughs> husband Vince, uh, who's just a great brother, man. A yes, great he brother. Is. That's how this all came about. Her husband, cause he jumped right on it, man. You gotta have somebody on your side. That's yes, in your corner, ride or die. Ride or die. Yes. Right. You know, what no, oh Lord, what is we gonna do? Lord <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hold my mule. What none of that? None of that. Man, what? Not hold my I, mule, though. Yeah. yeah, you know. You ever had something go wrong in your life and somebody just give you some scriptures, but don't none of them apply? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you in pain, you crying, mm -hmm. well, Jesus, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What you got to do with this right now? <laughs> I do want to ask you, yeah. how is Miss Evelyn? What What did Miss Evelyn say? You Come know, on. she she cried, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. she loved it, she too. She loved watching her. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're the baby. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, to be honest about it, you know, it's not a horrible show. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a good time. It's, you know, it's about women being positive and That's being right. coming together. And, you know, she was just a little devastated as well. But, you know, just like, you know, I know. And what she taught me is onward and upward. You That's know? right. Because she always has beautiful words of absolutely. wisdom for her girls. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't stay down. And, you you know, you cannot give people the power of your life. Mm. You just cannot, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. The devil is a liar. The devil is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. I mean, I feel like we just proved that, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. And so, you know, I refuse to stay down. It's nothing to be down about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like I'm out here for everybody who feels like they have no hope, no choice, no um, outlet. You, you've been let go, you've been let down, but you know, you got to get back up and get back out there and just rely on your faith and rely on yourself. Believe in you. That's right. Wow. Well, see, this, this is a good interview on so many levels mm -hmm. because people need to hear that because people just look at celebrities. They think your life, a hey, okay, you got a house, a big car and you know, big house, big car, you're on TV. What's wrong? Well, hell, life. <laughs> right. I tell you what's wrong. Hell, you know, we got to wake up too, you know. Yeah. Come on now. Mm -hmm. And it just starts popping off from the moment you wake up. I think this has been a great interview. I think it's been a great day for you. Yeah. I really Good job, am oh, I think, uh, yeah. very, very yeah. proud of the way you've uh, conducted yourself. So. Look, look, when they see you tonight crying, it's going to people going to go got her. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because the devil, he, he cold now. 
He liked to show all his victories involved someone's misery. Mm. Mm. All his victories involve someone's misery. He ain't got a victory available for you where everybody in the room happy. Right. <laughs> True. <laughs> so a couple of haters ain't going to see, because there's two different audiences, a couple of haters going to see the show tonight. Uh-huh, got her. No, no, you don't. No, not at all. No, no, you don't have her. She's fine. God's got yeah. her. And just because you're crying does not mean that you have been defeated. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I can't lie and say that this whole situation has not made me stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely a stronger person. You know, I don't want to be anywhere and blame anybody. I'm not ever going to talk bad about anybody. I have nothing to say that's, you know, negative. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the girls. They're very positive. They're very beautiful, you know, intelligent, talented women. And, you know, that situation it was just time for me to move on it's de definitely that's it definitely that's it. and we're happy and i'm excited about today. the new venture and i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> about what's you, to come girl, we get ready to go to work oh, baby Try listen here yeah. <laughs> she we, don't play no games <laughs> no god god don't play with me yeah he don't he'll he stopped me from doing stupid stuff long time ago yeah mm. Man. Wasn't that far back. Tommy. But, uh, and him and the that? Lord is truly connected. <laughs> She's right. been a well, true Braxton, thanks yes. for joining us this morning. Thank you so Thank much, you. darling. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll great you interview. God bless you. Uh, crew? Yeah. Y'all yeah. yep. have a great weekend. <laughs> 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 <laughs>